<laughs> Wait a minute, there were a few people sitting down. Can you stand up? <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with them? Sure. Clearly, they don't know. Yes. yes. <laughs> Ken's going to try to get you a job in Topeka, Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> now it's Omaha, Nebraska. That's right, he's in Omaha I'm now. I'm from St. Louis, I can come to Kansas. There you go. <laughs> You gotta feel, you feel so much love. I mean, you, I looked at the credits oh. that she has done in her career and just- She'll so, tell you. Oh, yeah. But I mean, for everything from Beaches, Sister Act, Poetic Justice, Castaway, Think Like a Man, what's love got to do with it? Do you, do you have, what, what stands out the most for you? What stands out the most for me? I think my, the one movie that I starred in, Jackie's Back. Yeah! Mm. Jackie's Back. <laughs> Yeah, I had a great time. It was a great movie, and it has now become a cult classic. And uh, people watch it all day and all night, and they have Jackie's back parties. Listen, I just want to say out loud, I am, I am an extremely grateful to everyone. Yeah. You know. The, oh, and by the way, honey, let me just say it out loud. Say Chicago it. is my favorite town. <laughs> Chicago so much. I love Chicago for its architecture. I love the skyline. I love riding my bicycle yes. along Lake Michigan. Yes. Now y'all call it Lake Michigan. I call it Ocean Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I used to ride from the aquarium all the way to the zoo. Listen, is that little gorilla still there named Joey? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta find There's out. There's a little bitty gorilla. He was a baby when I was here with the- Cause uh, you were here for Playboy Club. Yes, I was. For a long don't time. mention that it never went. <laughs> <laughs> but I was fabulous on it. Yes. Uh, when are you not fabulous? Girl. Because, I mean, seriously, like, you have such a big personality, and you're just so, like, you eat up a room. Like, let me tell you guys something. I sang my first solo when I was five years old in church, uh -huh. and it was a song called, Oh, Lord, You Brought Me a Mighty Long Way. Yes. Okay, five years old. But listen, I said, yeah. Uh, I did. And the congregation, yes. the reaction of the congregation came over the pews and watched me yes. in love. And I stood there with my thumb in my mouth five years old and I said, <laughs> I said, hey, I said, this is life. And ladies and gentlemen, I never looked back. Mm. I tell you, I never, I have been entertaining people since I was five years old and it's what I love to do. And don't you think for one minute that I don't know how lucky I am that I got to do something I loved yeah. with my life. Yeah. Yes. And for so long. Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason, the reason I've sustained in this business, going from a starlet to the mother, now to the grandmother on Blackish, the reason I have sustained is because I really do truly love people. And I love seeing them laugh. Yeah. And that's why I wrote the book, The Mother Black Hollywood. I wanted people to know that it doesn't come, you know, show business became, was easy for me, but life wasn't. You know, right. I was bipolar, diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was 30 When you say was, does that mean not anymore? Oh, no, I'm still bipolar. I'm just medicated and leveled. Okay. So you must understand. You. Okay. No, listen to me very carefully. I went to therapy for 17 years, twice a week, because I was damaged as a child. I was molested as a child. I also wanted on my face what I put on everybody's face, which was laughter and a smile. So I went to therapy and took care of myself, baby, because all that success, listen, all of that success means nothing if you don't know who you are. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you better take us to school in yeah. here. But were you ever were you ever frightened or reluctant to want to share some of that things that you just shared in your well, book? Well, let me tell you about the book. I went to see, I went to South Africa and I went to see where Mandela had been for 27 years. And let me tell you something. When you come from that place, you understand and you know profoundly that you owe. You don't let a figure like that be on this planet with you. He said, what right do we have not to be great? Mm. You see, and I tell my daughter, Charmaine, Go to the internet and 
bring up a picture of Ma Nelson Mandela and look at whose shoulders you're standing on. They're fragile. Mm -hmm. They were fragile shoulders, mm -hmm. but he was a strong man, you see. He was imprisoned, yes. but he was never caged. His soul wasn't caged, yeah. you see. And these, you must understand that these are my idols, the Obamas and the Gandhis and the Dr. Kings and the Mandelas. I tell millennials today, you had a black president act like it. Come on. And listen, no, 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 no. It was not just for, you know, I don't just say African Americans. That was history. Yes. That defined yes. what our country was at that time, and it was a wonderful time. Yes. Right. So I say to the millennials, I wrote this book, The Mother of Black Hollywood, mm. so that you can know that no matter what the fire is, Oh, you can come through it. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes, and be free, baby. Would you, would you ever, would you ever uh, run for public office? Ah, uh, guys, I can't run for public office. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They have asked me to run for president, so I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we have so much that we want to talk about, but I got to get you to weigh in on this because I feel like you're going to have a lot to say. Well, and, I'm listening. And you and I both know about the black culture and getting braids done, how many hours you have to sit in the chair to get braids. Honey, right. look, what else can I tell you? You're rocking that it, it, No, honey, it is the natural state. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you know how proud I am of this hair? I, it's beautiful. Wait a minute, I used to get perms and all that trash. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I had a rotator cuff and yeah. I couldn't comb my hair. So I cut it off. I wasn't gonna be able to, to go reach up for like yeah. six weeks. So I cut it off. And I saw my little nappy hair, I went, there you are, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I do, I do. I want African-American women to know that, you know, your beauty yeah. lies in how you were born. Uh -huh. yeah. But so, in, in the confidence, too, you're extremely confident. I am. You gotta say that that definitely, you know, helps with the beauty as well. Well, you know what, I am confident, but I also understand what it was not to be confident. Okay. It lasted maybe two days in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but in those two days, you know, you can't really talk about somebody else's stuff until you lived it. People come up to me, people come up to me and say, oh, Jennifer, you're fabulous, you're wonderful. We love that you give us so much of your life and, and we love your book and everything. And you know what I tell them, and I say this to everyone. Say it. It has to be in you to see it in me. Mm. And here's the other thing, people say, you know, Jennifer, why you always play the mother? <laughs> I tell them, for that kind of money, I'll play the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Jennifer, uh, we, all, we all have bad days over here. You just need to come over to our house oh, sometimes. Oh, my just, God. Yeah, I mean, we just want to listen yeah. to you talk. I mean, we got stuff Here's the thing. You, yeah. We're all in this together. You know, we have a divided country right yes, now. Yes. Here's what I tell people. And they say, what can I do? And the first thing I say is, be kind to one another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's number one. You come out of your house, you be nice, and you lead with love. You're going shopping, I don't care where you're going. Lead with love, and when you get there, it won't be so stressful. Mm -hmm. I've learned a thing or two, baby. I've learned a thing of two 17 years in therapy, and I think now, uh, oh, wow, maybe 50 years in show business. You know, I wake up and I lead with love because I know how fragile we are. I say it in my book, we've all been through it. Right. My pain is no worse or better than yours. Right. You know, and, I, and you want the truth? This is the first time I'm gonna say this. Oh, say it. This is the first time I'm gonna say this because it's come to me now that I'm touring around the country with my book. Playing the mother, the aunt, the grandmother, has endeared a young generation to me because I played those parts, you see. So now that I have something to say, where's the book? Who's got the book? Mm -hmm. It's now that I've got something to say, now that I have been honest about my life and given it all to you. I'm talking, I told you, the molestations, the abortions, all of it. 
I came through the fire. I wrote this book. I didn't write this book to make money. Y'all know I got money. <laughs> Don't ask me for none. <laughs> that was my but next no, question. No, uh -uh, y'all get no money. But listen, <laughs> I, I wrote this book. I had to relive the AIDS crisis, y'all. They died so quickly, we didn't have time to mourn. So as I called their names in this, I had to mourn. My editor at HarperCollins had to fly out to L.A. and take the manuscript out of my pool and said, oh, no, baby, you're going to finish this book. You threw it in the pool? I threw it in the pool. Y'all don't want me to cuss. I'll tell you what I said. <laughs> well, but listen, put your hand on the button, just listen. in case she does. <laughs> you guys go to Amazon and order this book. I mean that. And it's not for me. It's for you. It's about coming through the fire. It's about being kind to one another. And it's not, it's about not staying in these dark rooms, you see. I was, I was depressed for 33 years of my life. And now I'm here, y'all. I've arrived. You understand? So don't, listen, listen to me. Don't stay in those dark rooms and eat yourself to death and drink yourself to death and get high yourself to death. Come out of those dark rooms and say, here am I. Send me. I gotta say, yeah, in, in, in seven, seven years of doing this show, it's the first time I'm like, I don't know what the hell just happened, but I enjoyed that. Yes. Ro yes. over here, As Ro, like say something. Work. Here's the only thing I'd like to say. Back to Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. We want I mean, you to The last to... thing, do y'all know the song? <laughs> what, what's this? These fools told me to rap for my book. So I tap, tap, tap for my book. Hey! Red lips for my book. For my book. We're gonna pull this up, 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 pull <laughs> if Tony Robbins or Joel Osteen is watching, <laughs> take some lessons. There you go. Did you want to do that story? I, I, no. I mean, I don't even really want to talk about I mean, that story. Yeah. I just... Here's, here's the script. I just would... If I could just quote... <laughs> yeah. If I could just quote Jennifer here. Here you go. Yes, there you go. <laughs>